Modules in IntelliJ IDEA are a collection of sources and other related resources that IntelliJ IDEA will use to build your project with. And these are sources that you have control over. And so as opposed to dependencies, you can actually go in and edit them and add interdependencies in between your different modules in your project and so forth. And you can think of them as their own sort of self-contained project. And so you can go in and edit their language level and other dependencies. And there are three or four main things that I'd like to go over in this lesson. Um, the first is adding a new module from scratch, and then we'll import a new module, an existing module, and then we'll show how you can group them together and do other interesting things in their settings. So first, in order to create a new module from scratch, we'll select Create New Module here. And just like before, we'll select a module type and any frameworks or other resources that we'd like to use with our module. So these um, frameworks or facets, as they're called, are a collection of technologies and other tools that you can use when you're building your project. So you'll need to select an SDK for each of these and maybe an application server if you're using a web application framework. And you can click Next. And you can create the module by a name and add a content root, which will be here in the main Quick Starts directory here. And then we can call this, say, my new sample module. And that will be created right under this uh, project directory here. And you can see the project is grouped into um, some different modules here. And these are module groups you see up top and individual modules you'll see below. Uh, if you go into one of these, you can edit them by uh, opening up module settings by pressing Control shift s You can see that each of these has their own individual settings that we can configure. Um, they have their sources, paths, and dependencies. And you can set a module SDK and edit the uh, class paths, any other resources that you'll need to build um, that particular module, and so forth. Okay, and each of these modules are stored inside a dependency storage format um, called an IML file or an IDEA module file, right? And you can use that or an Eclipse file if you're importing one. So we'll just demonstrate how to import an external module right now. So if you have a module that you'd like to import into your project, you can select File and open up Import Module. And here you'll just select another project that you're working with in IntelliJ IDEA and say this project has an IML file in the root directory. So we'll select that and we'll click OK. And now that new module will be imported into our project and we should be able to see that momentarily. So this is a top-level module. And if we'd like to move where that is inside our project, you can do that by right-clicking, and you can move module to a particular group. So you can move it inside this uh, JBoss module, uh, this module group. So you can select here to this group, and then that will be relocated inside this module group. OK? If you'd like to group together one or more modules, you can do that by selecting them, right-clicking, and then you can select Move Module to a new top-level group or subgroup. You can call this, say, CDI. And this will be added to this module group here. And you can move that around, and you can configure the module group settings. And these groups will just help you categorize all of your different modules. If you'd like to remove a module from your project, you can select it and then click the Remove Module button. And it won't be deleted on disk, but it'll just be de-indexed from your project structure. Now you should be a little more familiar with how modules work on IntelliJ IDEA. If you have any more questions or comments, please feel free to add them in the section below, and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, and develop with pleasure.